Hi, welcome to What Was Here. This is my first video showing what is currently built on various historical sites around Los Angeles. The first place we'll talk about is Fort Moore. This is the first permanent site for Los Angeles as an American settlement. There's plenty of history for LA prior to Fort Moore being established, but in 1847, a small group of Americans celebrated the 4th of July on this location for the first time in LA. As a result of the conflict between the US and Mexico and the signing of the Treaty of Coenga, US rule was instituted in LA. So where are we talking about? The fort was built on a large hill, at least it was a large hill at the time, just to the northeast of the small town of LA where the Californios and the Native Americans were living. We'll start with a quick tour around the area thanks to Google Maps. The site of Fort Moore is in the middle, Dodger Stadium is just to the north, Silver Lake and Griffith Park are out to the northwest. As we shift around to look to the west, downtown LA is seen just to the southwest, Hollywood is tucked up in the hills to the northwest, Baldwin Hills and Los Angeles Airport are down to the southwest. Flying a little further counterclockwise to look south, City Hall is one of the older landmarks in downtown, Palace Verdes and Long Beach are off in the distance. And on the site where Fort Moore once stood is the Ramon C. Cortinas School of Visual and Performing Arts. This is the second school on the site since the early 1890s. Prior to the school, the fort, a playground, a beer garden, cemetery, and a large residence to grace the site. The hill has been all but removed for construction of the freeway. The only reminder of the Fort Moore era is a Fort Moore Pioneer Memorial along Hill Street. The Fort Moore Pioneer Memorial commemorates the history of the hill. Built in 1957, it is the largest bas-relief monument in the United States, honoring the Mormon Battalion, the U.S. First Dragoons, and New York Volunteers who celebrated that first 4th of July in 1847. Inscribed on the memorial, on this site stood Fort Moore, built by the Mormon Battalion during the War with Mexico. This memorial honors the troops who helped to win the Southwest. The flag of the United States was raised here on July 4, 1847 by U.S. troops at the first Independence Day celebration in Los Angeles. The U.S. First Dragoons who fought at San Pasqual, the New York Volunteers who came by sea, and the Mormon Battalion which made one of the longest and most arduous infantry marches in history. On ranchos where herds of cattle ranged, pioneers built homes and planted vineyards and orange groves. The prairie schooner stage and iron horse brought many settlers who made Los Angeles a city. Water and power have made our arid land flourish. May we keep faith with the pioneers who brought us these gifts. How did this plot of land change over time? Thanks to Wikipedia and KCET for the information and several online sources for the maps and images. The actual fort was relatively short-lived. Construction was begun in 1847 and the area was abandoned in 1853 since the threat of uprising had subsided. The first definitive map is shown here. It was a survey by Lieutenant Edward Ord in 1849 showing the walls of the fort up on the hill. This drawing from 1850 shows much of the fort completed. After it was abandoned, a builder named Jesus Manzo built a large house on the site. A portion of the hill was used as a cemetery. In 1882, a beer garden was built and operated until 1889, when the building was sold and converted to an elegant home by the widow of the founder of LA's port, Mary Banning. This picture from 1887 shows what that house looked like. This street map from 1908 shows the continued growth around this prime location in Los Angeles. LA's second high school was built on the hill in 1891. 
This atlas for 1921 shows the school buildings and playgrounds. As the 20th century proceeded and more changes followed, the property of the high school was retained by the city school district and served as an administrative site until the current school was built in 2001. This map from 1932 shows some interesting detail. In 1901, a tunnel was dug under the hill to connect Temple Street to what is now Chinatown. In 1930, the hill itself began to disappear by excavation for roads and city buildings. A majority of the hill was removed in 1950 when the Hollywood Freeway, US 101, was constructed. Today, the School of Visual and Performing Arts is a striking structure along US 101 in downtown LA. Many of the buildings in the background show similar modern architecture by HMC Architects from Los Angeles and Coop Himmelblau from Austria. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video about the origin of the American city of Los Angeles. Check out my YouTube channel for more videos.